This car doesn't just have an alarm, it has an all-seeing eye with a scary soundtrack. I'm Washington Post tech columnist Jeff Fowler, and I'm going to show you how new cars use built-in cameras to catch potential crimes in the act. How's that work? I'm going to pretend to be a bad guy and show you how. This is a Tesla Model 3, the most popular American electric car. Most new cars have cameras, but the Model 3 has eight cameras, which it uses for backing up, cruise control, and its budding self-driving capabilities. But a year ago, it added one more trick, which it calls Sentry Mode. It turns all those cameras into a rolling security system. More and more cars offer something like this. It's been on some Cadillacs since 2016. When Sentry Mode is turned on, the camera is looking for disturbances out of a set of front cameras, two side cameras, and a back camera. When someone or something gets close, a warning appears on the screen in the center console. You are being recorded. Most of the time, that just takes video of people scooching by in tight parking spots. But there's another level when things go awry. When the car senses a major disturbance, like a loud noise or jostle, it will set off an alarm, complete with music, chosen by Tesla to leave an impression. When that happens, Sentry Mode also sends a notification to your phone. The car saves all of that camera footage to a memory stick. You can watch it later in high definition, but only if you have physical access to the car. Unlike connected ring doorbells and other webcams, you can't stream video from a Tesla, and it doesn't record audio. Police also can't directly access the footage. And for privacy's sake, that's probably a good thing. Now a few caveats. Leaving sentry mode on does sip a Tesla's precious battery. You lose one mile of range for every hour it runs. And sentry mode won't stop a crime in progress. If someone keys your car, all you get is a video of it happening. And if someone gets into your car, you won't have a record of what they took. There's an inward-facing camera, but Tesla, for some reason, hasn't turned it on. But Sentry Mode has caught real bad guys. For me, it helped track down a hit and run while my car was parked. The suspect? A city bus that gashed the bumper. Soon, all cars will be mobile surveillance machines. Are we ready for that? Time to test the gadgets. I'm Jeff Fowler, tech columnist at The Washington Post. Real journalism matters. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to follow our latest reporting and analysis. You do not want to know how many of these I have lost.